gege bashi ya flat Begele beg Di baby mkoto rehana yo na mela maro na vef Begele beg Hello everybody, welcome to the first episode of Convo Corner. Vegele vegele, vegele vegele, meskat. Kali vito ke nabun tle male, mamfana tachila ini wana pitori. And I'm not alone today, I'm with my first ever guest, Luati Le Mangadi, also known as Lord and Over Pounds. But before I hand over to him, please make sure that you do subscribe and turn on that notification bell. And don't forget to tell the others, to tell their friends, to tell their friends that it's going down on this channel. And yeah, without wasting any more time, I'm gonna hand over to my guest. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Lord Nova Pounds, the one and only Konkrenko, Big Big Marapiane, the one and only Mr. Ponyet, the Faga Ponyet, the Pony. Hello, what do you do? Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you so much for making time for us and thank you for being our first guest ever. How does it feel to be the first guest of a new show? Um, I'm actually honored, to be honest. Yeah, thanks for having me. Productions. <laughs> Without wasting any more time, guys, um, we're going to get straight into the interview. Um, so, can you please introduce yourself? Who is Luatile? Um, Luatile is a boy from Lebapa who happened to be... Uh, I, I don't know what, what, what to put it, but then let me say... Uh, I'm just a regular kid born in Lebapa, happened to make music, and now I'm here. Lebopo ke mabopani guys for those of you who don't know. <laughs> 019 TFL. So yeah, I just make music and yeah, I, I, an all-rounder creative, that's all. So what sparked your love for music? Um It started at a very young age cuz like back then I used to go at uh, good society in my family and then there would be my cousins that would DJ there and all that, yeah. So I think it started there because I would chill with them. Yeah. I started learning how to DJ. And then, yeah, I think that's, that's really yeah, that started everything. So was music always plan B for when? I mean, plan A, sorry. Yeah, it, it always has been. I remember grade three, yeah, I wrote on my essay where when I grow up, I want to be it's either a DJ a music producer or a rap yeah it all falls in the same category okay yeah. all right all right because i was gonna ask you if music was plan a then what was plan b <laughs> yeah plan b uh i, I just graduated go 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 rosebank college i did uh shout out it software development shout out that's kind of like my plan b oh okay 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 all right Right, right, right. So, what you saying, Kori? You always knew Kori. You wanted to be in the arts. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's nice. That's nice. Um. So, are you like highly involved in the making of your music, like from pre-production to post? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very, very involved because it all starts uh, in the studio. I write my music, and then from writing, uh, I record my music. I got my own little studio. And my multifaceted yeah. yeah and then yeah produce my own beats and then i mix and master and all that so yeah i do everything basically <laughs> so like how do you ensure consistency like in your music and in your art uh i don't really like to 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 force myself to make music so it just happens sometimes you can you can get in studio and then Nothing There's comes no out, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes, mm. and then uh, put something in my mind, and then when I get home, I apply. Yeah. So yeah, oh, but okay. then I just, I just like to, to, to make music. So yeah, I think yeah. that's important. Yeah. yeah so. I know they say passion doesn't pay the bills, but like, you have to do something where you don't even feel like you're working. Yeah, yeah, you get. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's nice. No, that's beautiful. Um. So, like, what are some of the challenges that you come across as like an upcoming artist? Uh, more, more, where, where I come from, uh, I, I would say there's not enough, there's not enough resources. Yeah. More, yeah. And then people don't really like to to invest in upcoming artists. One, like, yeah. And, uh, product. Yeah, mutaling so, yeah. established already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. When and they start to support you. But like once a little popular to support you, that that's maybe like, you know, one hit, a yeah, successful EP, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. TV, or maybe if you featured like a big commercial artist. Yeah, that's when they want to start supporting you. Mm. So yeah, it's one of the things that like you face. Resources. Yeah. 
the resource in it, and you feel like how cocoa like those doors don't really open. Yeah. And also yes, like, it's about who you know. Even, even like Hoka level most of the events Zamo yeah, Zamo Gasi. You wouldn't find uh let's say let's say Barry an artist or a performer, mm. a big artist. You wouldn't find uh Barry there's a young kid Mogasi is opening up for yeah, nah, yeah. Uh, or again the main um, act yeah you wouldn't find that unless it moto turns out from the hood I look lower by the side <laughs> and uh, usually Libona the young kids baba featuring ukrolo raba baba tele because I mean you're desperate bro I get exposed yeah but then it's something unlike or some of a platform at all oh yeah baba tara tamamo that's how you get noticed because you never know who's watching yeah, yeah, but I, I mean, I guess it's tough. It is. Like, it is. so I was gonna ask her here. Then, how do you kind of maybe overcome those challenges? Like, what keeps you going? Do to still wake up, be positive, and follow your passion, and not decide on what you king? Can you hear Um, it's the first of all. I think I get, get the passion. Mm. I do what I, I think. Again, another thing, I, I love more, more than, than making music. Yes, so yes. I have to make sure her like. I get yeah. successful with it, and then yeah. So yeah, besides besides passion, uh, I don't know, man. I just I just like get the urge to wake yeah. up and make music. <laughs> Obviously, once you make music, you learn about things. Sort of like, for example, you have to get gigs, you have to push it, you have to market, and then that's where I'm kind of like learn. I'm kind of like learning and yeah, all that yeah, thing. Yeah. So yeah, I think yeah. Yeah, over everything. Over everything. Mm, okay, so you you released yesterday. Okay, obviously you, by the time you guys see this, it would have been a long time. But um, he recently released a new single called Vege Le Vege. Please do make sure that you check it out. I'm gonna leave the links to his music and everything uh, in the description box. Please do make sure who you support. So let's talk about that Vege Le Vege and shout out to its bomb by the way. How did that come about and how long did it take? For you to make that song, mix, master, everything. Okay. So, for for me, ne, there was a there was a a twenty first party. Uh, my nigga, John Mac go 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 go. So I realized that I don't have like new tracks still on like the they bang it. So yeah, I needed the track along like it, it was gonna spark the crowd on top. So I think on a on a Tuesday, that's when I, I recorded the hook. And then I was like, let me leave it and then I'll perform it. And then from there, I'll see where, where, where it takes me. And then I think Saturday, I performed the song. And how was the, the, the reception and the reaction from no. the audience? Oh, yo, I never expected it. Because like, I performed it, it was like 30 seconds. Yeah, I think the, the snippet was like 30 seconds. Mm. I performed it and then they wanted me to perform it more. Eh. To perform it again. Then I perform it again. And then I was about to leave. They they wanted me like they played it again. It's like yo, a big a big. And then yeah, I think I performed it more than like six times. Bigel, this song might just be maybe be nayari naya this show, guys. What do you guys think? Yeah. Comment down below. Yeah. Maybe so, that could yeah. be our main song. And then, and then uh, it was the hook, right? Mm. And then yeah, so it took me about like uh, maybe let's say. I think maybe less than five hours, hours yeah, 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 for the mixing. And, and then afterwards, uh, I posted a snippet more, more Instagram. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, a lot of people started sharing it and all that. And then that's when Ghost Trap Bully, mm -hmm. shout out to him, uh, he hit me up. But like, yo, bro, I think we should get on a remix, though. Then I was like, hey, yo, dog, actually, okay. it's only the hook, Joe. Why yeah. don't you hop in on the track? So, yeah. And then yeah, from there he recorded his verse. I recorded mine, and then yeah. I know Kihiti guys. Yeah, do make sure you check it out. Kihiti, I won't lie. And I also wanted to to talk about some of your releases, obviously that you released before Begele Bege. Hold on, the Grace guys. How did that do? Like, did it um, getting reach reach your expectations? Like, did it do well? Did yeah, people were people receptive of it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, most okay. of course, like uh, Grace guys got into. Uh, Apple Music playlist. All think, right. Yeah. And then, yeah, hold on. People received it well, especially the ladies. <laughs> yeah, but then, yeah, for me, like, 
I was a bit skeptical, especially yeah. about Hold On, because mm-hmm. like it's something new, especially for for the hood. It's yeah. alternative vibes, and it's mm-hmm. not really like that. Yeah. 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 So yeah, but then they received it well, and I'm glad for I'm that. Glad. Dude, like upu, upu, I know, like it's normal to have like imposter syndrome without the whole okay, this is gonna do well. Cause sometimes when your perspective is not necessarily the same as ours, mm. maybe you might think, oh, nah, this one is not gonna be a hit. I be like it sure. And then when it comes to our ears, really audience, we feel like oh, yeah, no, yeah, fisa. You know, the fact that beke le beke, kona ito am, but you had to perform it more than once. Yeah. Oh, I know that's a big deal, bro. Like that's a big deal. Um, so I wanted to also ask, what kind of themes do you focus on when making your music? Uh, I don't really like to box myself in, so I would say I wouldn't. I wouldn't give you like a, a certain uh, title or like, yeah, I make this kind of music. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, oh, versatile. Yeah, yeah okay. very versatile. Cause like bigger the bigger, I think it's more of a street banger. And then hold on, it's talk, it talks about love. Yes. Great skies, love, nigga, love. But then I just like to talk about how I'm, f- I'm feeling. You feel? Yeah, I get to go studio and then. In the moment, my, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, what's what's going through my mind or whatever. Yeah, that's what I write about. So you might find Kosa and I might write about, I don't know, maybe gospel, I might do gospel, I must, yeah, gospel for that matter or anything, you feel? Yeah. So yeah. Guys, don't limit yourself. Yeah. Nah, it's nice like that. So any words of wisdom, like advice for the upcoming? Uh, I'd tell them to just stay authentic as possible and to keep knocking on them doors. Eventually, someone will open. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. If they 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 they, they love making music, they should make more music. Mm. Yeah, that's all. Cause like, industry, it's very the, the industry is very weird. Mm. I would say, cause like you never know. Some something might work for you, and then and it might not work for me. You feel me? Yeah. What might take you one year might take me ten years. You feel me? Or like first thing is the piece of. Yeah, bayo. Now you know not Yeah. So, yeah, I'd tell them to, to just keep on working. Yeah, just keep on and, and follow their passion, you yeah. know. Eventually, sometimes Against all odds, yeah. But I risk it, I hope I don't have to be Yeah, so, uh, so I guess this brings us to the end of this episode. Thank you so much once again for being our first guest. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I keep on pushing, like... I, I wish you nothing but the best, honestly. Like, once I give up, Ajo, it's gonna get tough. <laughs> the going gets tough. Mara, knock on all those doors until that one door opens. You know, like, follow your passion. Like, like, you know, like, you feel fulfilled. You know, like, when you wake up every morning, so that you don't feel like you're working a day in your life, you know? So, yeah, guys, please do make sure uh, that you go out and check out his music. Like I said, I'm gonna leave everything in the description box. Comment down below, engage with us, guys, like this video, share it, and don't forget to subscribe and hit on that uh, notification bell. And also, um, do keep in touch with us on our socials, Muntlenyana Productions. I'll also leave uh, links to our social media pages in the description box below. But yeah, I guess it's bye from me. Yeah, shout out. And uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram, Slotinova Pounds. Uh, Twitter, Latin over pound, go stream my music, bigly bigger out now on all digital platforms. You know what it is. Fuck up with your face. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're watching everything we do. You just want to say shit.